What's up you guys, it's Brandy. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with another cook with me video. I've been enjoying doing these even though I've only done like one other one besides today's. But I'm definitely going to be doing more of these because I feel like they're easy to do. I wanna share these with you guys because they've made my life a whole lot easier with trying to eat healthier, eat more meals at home instead of buying food out all the time. So I'm just hoping that you guys will get something out of these videos as well. Now today, Today's meal is gonna be something super, super, probably like the easiest meal that you can make because it's gonna be done in a crock pot, which I absolutely love because you can literally take all of your ingredients, throw them into one pot, set it, forget it, come back in a few hours, and you have a flavorful meal for the entire family. It's actually gonna be something I feel like pretty much everyone will love because it's so simple. You can change it up. You can add a lot of different things to it and make it into different meals throughout the whole entire week. Now I am gonna have a part two to this video where I show you guys how I end up, you know, transforming it into a lot of different meals. So you gotta stick around for that. By the time you see this, uh, or eventually I'll update the description box and it will have part two in there already. So check that out once you finish watching today's video. We're about to get ready to jump on in because it's only a few ingredients which I have back here behind me. You probably already have them in your fridge and your pantry. So it's not gonna cost you a whole lot to make this meal either. And it's something that's very kid friendly, family friendly, like I said. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. But before doing so, you know I gotta welcome all of you guys who might be new here to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and checking your girl out. Hopefully you'll stay a little while, peruse my channel, and if you like what you see, click that red subscribe button and join the family. Now for all my other OGs, welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay you guys, so all of the ingredients that you need are right here. It's super simple. Literally, this is like a low budget or budget friendly meal. So all I have here about two pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast. I have one packet of taco seasoning and I always get the less sodium because I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and I wanna be able to control how much sodium is in most of my dishes. I'm also gonna use a little bit of iodized salt, black pepper, I have olive oil just to spray at the bottom of the crock pot two limes and then like a few handfuls of cilantro because I really love the taste of cilantro. And that's pretty much it. So I'm about to put all of this into my crock pot. You probably can even use a smaller version of this, but I just got the bigger one because it's not gonna fill the whole thing up. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Pam. You can use any type of oil spray that you want. I'm almost out of this one. And I'm just lightly spraying the bottom of it. We're gonna put our chicken breasts right in here. I don't season them before doing so because everything is gonna end up gelling together as it's cooking in here. So just put the chicken breast at the bottom. Next, we're gonna add this entire seasoning packet. If you want to, you can actually do your own spices, but I just like this because it's, it makes it more convenient where they're all mixed in together. And on the back of it, it tells you exactly what's included. So it has chili pepper, paprika, cumin, oregano, onion, salt, and garlic in here already. So you can always add additional stuff to it. This is normally good for us. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper just because I like the spice of it. So I'm just gonna liberally add that to it. Also gonna add a little bit of salt, not too much because I like to be able to, you know, adjust that and your girl ain't trying to have high blood pressure out here. So just a tad bit. Next, we're gonna add our two limes. You wanna get some that aren't too firm so you can get as much juice out of them as possible. And then next I put on the cilantro, just sprinkle that on and this was roughly chopped. You could pull it apart if you want to or use like kitchen scissors to cut it if you want as well. So I am very heavy handed with this. You can adjust this to your taste level. And lastly, I'm gonna put about this entire jar on here. This is the type of salsa I like. We always get the medium one because I like a little bit of spice, but you can choose whatever your favorite salsa is. And then that is literally it. We're gonna put the top on here and then we're gonna set this on low for six to seven hours, let it cook. I am gonna check it probably at the five or six hour mark to see how it is. And you know it's done when you can easily start pulling it apart with two forks. So 
Just gonna let this chill out right here. I'm gonna go to my appointment that I have, do some other errands, and then come back later on and let you guys see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 